And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Boy, we've had a streak of hot, hot days, and we're looking at a little bit. Got to emphasize, this is not fall coming, but a little bit of a break second part of the weekend with some slightly cooler air coming in late Saturday into Sunday. Here's the setup. We have cool air across the Panhandle, all across Texas, but a cold front off to the north on Saturday should get a little bit of a push from some cooler air and come on through later in the day. So that would leave us in the slightly, not fall, slightly cooler air coming in for the day on Sunday. It doesn't last too long. I'll show you the trend here. High temperatures, average is still 93. We've got a couple more triple digit days. That's Friday and Saturday just ahead of that front. Then Sunday, we're forecasting a high temperature of only 90, which means most of the day in the 80s, which is not too bad for this time of year. It's tough to get a cold front this far south this time of year, and it doesn't really last. We're back near 100 by Wednesday of ne next week, but I'm trying to offer a little hope. Temperatures drop in the early mornings as well with that front will be mid 60s, which would be just a touch below average Sunday and Monday mornings. But the day on Friday, it's another hot day, upper 90s, triple digits for a number of spots. There is still that small chance for an isolated shower or thunder shower in a couple of spots in the evenings primarily. So as we go through the day on Friday, we'll start the day pretty quiet. Fair amount of sunshine. Some of those puffy cumulus clouds will bubble up again in the heat of the day and a handful of them will drop a couple of showers in a couple of spots. So we raise the rain chance maybe 10 to 20 percent, especially later in the day. There's 5 p.m. southeastern corner of the Panhandle. Could be some heavy downpours, but not looking for a big severe weather outbreak. And most of those should be done as we get into later in the day, Friday night. So into the day on Thursday, we've got scattered showers and thunder showers, a uh, slightly higher rain chance, chance for severe weather, mainly to our north. Friday, here's what it looks like. Again, some rumbles of thunder, and again, a few rumbles of thunder possible on Saturday. Here's that seven day supercast. Friday, rain chance 10%. Saturday, rain chance 10%, triple digits. Sunday, 10%, a little cooler. And some of the models have a little bit better chance for some scattered showers, thunder showers. Every little bit helps, 20%, maybe 30 on Monday. And then we end that rain chance for the middle part of the upcoming week, but temperatures do come back up.